Hi there. In this video, we're going to be looking at infrared communication. In your kit, you have a uh, received a controller, infrared controller, the infrared sender is is here. Uh, there's also an infrared receiver, and I've already connected it up. I've connected it up to uh, uh, plus voltage, minus volt, sorry, signal, minus voltage, and plus 5. The sender doesn't come with batteries, so you have to find your own battery. In this case, it's a uh, what's known as a CR2025. It's a 3 volt lithium battery. The reason why the, the kit doesn't come with batteries is that recent well-known air disasters, MH370 and some others, have highlighted the dangers in uh, transporting lithium batteries in uh, by air. So uh, there's been a limit on shipping, especially from China, of anything that contains lithium battery in it. So I have quite a few spare lithium batteries, little 3 volts button batteries, that I can put in and uh, I may be able to share those with you. So um, I've installed the battery in the uh, remote. Okay, so the sender, or sorry, the receiver, the IR receiver, the IR receiver here is connected like this. So the leftmost pin, th this is the front, of course, the back is just uh, metal. The front, the leftmost is the signal, middle is ground, and right is 5 volts. And the uh, schematic of the device is here. So looking at the front, pin 1, pin 2, pin 3, pin 1 is out, pin 2 is ground, pin 3 is 5 volts. Let's take a look at the sketch. The sketch is taken from the Arduino uh, page and the link is on the course website. It's taken virtually the same as the demonstration on the page. The infrared pin, the input from the receiver, goes to pin digital 2. What it does is, using the serial monitor at 115, 200 baud, will just receive the pulses from the remote and list out in terms of time when those po when those pulses were received so we'll upload that and open up our serial monitor make sure that it's at 115 200 baud and it's waiting to receive something So let's uh, let's try sending a zero from our sender. There it is. So this is giving you the time in is it milliseconds and what the state of the signal was, and the signal is either a zero or a one. Let's try 
Let's try a number 2. So there's really no way, just from this raw data, you would have to process this raw data to determine, based on the ones and zeros, whether the user has pressed a 2, a 1, or a 0. Um, to compare the first, say, four digits of pressing 0 or 0, 1, 1 is the same thing when I pressed the digit 1. So uh, the, the secret is in uh, some subtleties at various times of between the ones and zeros. You can take a look at the signals. And I have my little oscilloscope here. So I'm connecting to the signal pin of the infrared receiver. And I'm going to press 0 again. And hopefully we'll see the waveform show up on the scope. There we go. You can see that. Now they they do look similar, but some of them look a little bit different. You can see a difference between two and three. I'm pressing six, five, four, three, two, one. Zero. So there are differences, and you could program your Arduino to capture those differences and control something with it. Now there are also, we go back to look at the sketch in the Arduino system there are libraries. There's one called IR Remote. And with this library you can test, you can send and receive, and you can even relay. So I'll let you find this library on your own and set it up. And I guess that's it. Have fun. See you next time.